Hello guys, welcome back to another video. As some of you may know, Fab, the new Unreal Engine Marketplace replacement, has just been released the other day, and with the release of Fab, Epic Games is giving away 9 free Quixel Megascans asset packs, including high quality nanite environments, such as this old mine, the saloon interior, a junkyard, warehouse, and much more. So we're going to be taking a look at these high quality AAA Quixel Megascan asset packs and environments. I have them all downloaded here in my local project, and we're going to be taking a look and stick around to the end of the video because I'll be showing you guys how you can actually get your hands on these free asset packs, how to download them and add them through the new fab plugin, which was just made available the other day. Also, before we get into the video, make sure that you guys leave a like on the video and comment down below what you guys think about these free asset packs. Also, what do you guys think about the new fab website? Let me know down in the comments down below. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. So the first asset pack that I have loaded up here is the industrial old mine. So basically, these are all a bunch of different Quixel Megascans assets that are put together in these new environments and they're not really a full environment set but they are sort of semi completed so it's in sort of like the showcase level let's go ahead and check it out so if I actually go into the mine here you can see that everything in here is nanite quality so I can zoom up on the ground and you can see the details of all the different rocks also the wood is all Megascans assets so these are all high quality scanned assets, photorealistic assets, as you can see. The lighting is absolutely incredible in here. And I really like these nanite environments because we don't really get a whole lot of these Quixel environments. Usually we only get the Quixel assets themselves from the marketplace and we don't have them arranged in a nice environment that allows us to see really the power of Quixel Megascans assets utilizing, you know, nanite technology that allows us to have all these different triangles and the insane amount of detail that you see here on the screen itself. So yeah, that is the back of the mine. We can go ahead and go through here and I'm probably going to check this out in VR as well because it's just really high detailed. And as you can see, there's two other different mines over here. So we can check out this one. And this one looks absolutely crazy because you can see all the different logs. These are all just separate meshes. Usually in other games, you'd have you know a normal map for things like that, but you can really see all the different log pieces and the detail behind that. Of course, we have this little mine cart with a ton of different logs in here. And we have this little train track that goes all the way to the very end. So again, everything is very high detailed and in nanite quality. So I could even show you guys the triangle count. So if we go into the nanite triangle visualization. You can see all the triangles that make up this scene. So there's tons of little tiny triangles that make up all the different scans that you can see here. But yeah, that is that one over there. Let's go over to this tunnel. Oh, I really like the detail on the ground here. You can see just all the different pebbles and rocks. We have a little pickaxe over there. So we have sort of this arched tunnel. So you can see all the logs. We have this photo scan, you know, cart, railway cart with some different rock debris in there. And I really like the train track, as you can see, the dirt covering certain parts of the track itself. And yeah, that's pretty much the tunnel. And then over here in the asset level, they've created this new asset showcase level that showcase all the assets that were used. So as you can see, these are different pieces, modular pieces of the tunnels. You can see things like the train tracks themselves. So all of these assets are free to download on Fab. So the, you can actually download these Quixel Megascans asset packs on Fab itself. And I'll show you guys at the end of the video how to do so. But these are all the props used in those environments. The next thing that we're going to check out is this old saloon. So as you can see, here's a level loaded up. And this environment absolutely blows my mind because yeah it's just this little box but if we actually just go inside of the box you can see that it feels like we've entered this time machine into this old western movie scene where we have this old saloon so we can go over here you can see that we have this bar with some drinks everything is very high quality and photo scanned details so you can see we can go to the floor you can see we have different wood boards down there and even the table is very high detail that we can see things like little chips in the wood, the different meshes, and it even comes with the upstairs. So we have the staircase and it goes all the way up, up here. I bet we're going to see this in some sort of movie, but yeah, as you can see here, there's another scene and this one looks absolutely incredible because you can look up at the wood supports in the ceiling, even things like these wood pieces up here. These are all nanite meshes even things like the tablecloth, you can see all the wrinkles in that. But yeah, I really love the lighting in here. It brings the scene to life. So yeah, those are the two different environments. 
over there. And over here are all the different assets that come in this pack. So we have things like the bar itself, the tables, the chairs, and then of course all the old Western props, things like barrels, chests, chairs, and much more. So you're free to use these assets in your project as you please. The next asset pack they're gonna be checking out is this unfinished building. And this has gotta be one of my favorites because this is like a old concrete building. So if we zoom up in here, you can see some of the Quixel assets on the ground, things like piles of debris and rocks, just piles of different rocks, cinder blocks, pallets, and much more, all scattered. And I really love the detailing on the walls. You can see these are things like decals. So I press out of game mode. You can see these are just various decals that they placed on the wall to add sort of this abandoned effect. So I really love the detail and the lighting as well in here. This is just one of the environments. Let's actually check out this other building over here, which looks absolutely incredible. They have these little puddles of water in here. But this kind of looks like an old parking garage. So you can see we have this area over here and it actually has some staircases that go all the way up. And I really wanna use these assets to create maybe some sort of zombie game. I feel like this is the perfect setting for something like that, just an abandoned city or abandoned parking garage. But again, over here in the showcase level are all the different assets used and all the different props. So very high quality concrete blocks, pillars, 3D scans and rock debris and stuff like that. Okay, next up we have this industrial warehouse. So as you can see, this is what the building looks like. I really like the roof in here. I didn't realize that it came with all of this. So this is a very high quality detailed uh, roofing section over here. But as you can see down here in the warehouse itself, we have very detailed concrete floor. We have all these different shelves with different types of boxes and props in here. We have the sliding garage door right over there. And again, another very cool environment that includes just tons of different assets. Some of these assets are new to Quixel Bridge itself, but some of them have already been on Quixel for quite a long time. So you can see all the different assets that they used in this pack and this little 3D scan tarp. It's just crazy to look at all the wrinkles and see all the detail that they picked up from actually photo scanning all these assets. You can see all the different barrels. Those have been on Quixel Bridge for quite some time. And we have different types of boxes as well, uh, more different types of box collections. And we have things like all the different shelves. Next up, we have this quarry. Now it's interesting that they didn't put this or any of the environments outside, which is kind of kind of like clickbait, because if you look on the fab page, it looks like the environment itself is, you know, this massive map when in reality, it's just a little chunk section that they slapped inside of this demo showcase level. But nonetheless, it's still pretty impressive. So I zoom up here on the detail on the rocks, you can see the grass over here. And I really love the grass that they've put on it, as well as things like the bushes. So again, these are all Quixel mega scans. We can zoom up here on the rocks up here and you can see sort of like this rock slide that goes all the way down to this beach section. We can even see things like the pathway and it's very strange that they put this indoors in this indoor environment. It kind of looks like some Hollywood set. So maybe someone's going to set a movie in here, but I think it'd look a lot better with, you know, outdoor lighting and everything like that. But again, over here are all the different assets that come included in the pack. So we can have things like the different bushes, all the different rock pieces that they've scattered, some of the rock piles and more of those assets. And it's unclear whether or not these asset packs are going to remain free after the end of the year. So if you haven't claimed them, make sure that you do and add them to your library. I'll show you guys how to do that at the end of this video. Okay, next up we have this medieval banquet. Basically, this has a ton of different props for a feast. So as you can see, we have all photo scan assets for things like the grapes, pears, apples, stuff like that. And if I zoom up really closely, I really love the lighting on the fruit itself, like the shader. So you can see how the light bounces and reflects off of the different fruits in that bowl. Very impressive. We have things like a chicken over here, an actual full pig, and I love the candle lights and all that stuff. We have bread and some grapes and things like that over here. So let's just keep going through here. And if we go to the end over here, we have things like pies, a couple of different pies on the table and I really love this assortment of fruits you can see we have things like a watermelon pears nuts grapes apples all sorts of different stuff here in the back and of course we have some barrels of drink and yeah these are all the medieval assets over here so you can make yourself some sort of feast or 
Probably some people are going to use this as a scene in a movie because this is a perfect environment. It has all the lining already set up. So all the assets are over here. You can see it comes with the table, all the different props, the chairs, the seats, all the different small props like the cups and all that stuff, as well as all of the photo scan fruit. And we even have, you know, the pig right there. And of course, we have these other different wooden tables over here. So quite impressive seeing all this stuff put together. Okay, so next up we have this bazaar. So basically this is sort of like the the assets that we saw from the Megalites demo. So in the Megalites demo, you know, we had the character walk through a little marketplace. These are all the assets that they used from that. And they're actually going to be releasing that Megalites demo here soon when 5.5 releases. But as you can see, these are all the different fruits and vegetables, the different things from the marketplace. So these are all new Quixel assets. So these have never been on Quixel Bridge before. But as you can see, these are very high quality detail. We have things like different types of bags of flour, grain beans and much more and yeah that's pretty much the environment let's go ahead and check out all the different props that come included so you can see we have all these different types of canopies we have very high quality different ropes so i can zoom up on the rope you guys can see the detail in that as well as all the different sacks of grain and things like that over here we have more different types of props and i really love the marketplace assortment of all these different goods it's just very well detailed and let's go over here especially the rugs. You can see all the different rugs on the ground. They're all layered on top of each other, things like that. And then of course you have all the different small props that were used in the various different arrangements that we saw earlier. All right, next up we have this junkyard environment. So as you can see, this is just a bunch of random junk parts. So we have things like tires, barrels, propane tanks, and much more. And we have sort of like this little shack that's made out of different pieces of metal. So it's very interesting to see how they placed all these assets. I really want to know how they arranged all this because I definitely don't think that they did this by hand. Maybe they did. And if so, that'd be very impressive that they place each individual tire here by hand because it looks pretty darn realistic. And I can zoom up here and show you guys the detail on these tires. Things like the tread itself. You can see, you know, this is not a normal map. This is actual nanite quality. But yeah, I very much love this environment because it's just a bunch of random junk and props. And over here, you can see this is just a big pile of random metal, rebar, steel beams. And then on the other side, we have all these different barrels stacked up and piled up. I just love the assortment of random junk in a pile like this. So over here are all, all the different props that come included. So these are, I think, some prefabbed piles of junk. So you could just slap these in your game environment or in your scene create some sort of junkyard environment whatever you need these for so yeah all the different small props things like the rocks the barrels gas cans things like that and some different steel pieces like that okay so our last pack is this roadside construction which is very impressive so if i zoom up on here you can see the detail of the pile of gravel in here and you can see you know every speck of gravel then over here we have different holes in the road and even these leaves, these are actual mesh modeled leaves. So these aren't like a texture or anything like that, but are actual geometry. And then over here, we have sort of like this crack in the road. And if you actually zoom up on here, you can see the actual pieces of the road itself falling apart. We have sort of like this pipe that's going through the bottom there. So again, just a really impressive scene that they've made in here. I really like how they've arranged everything to create this environment. It's really nice seeing these Quixel assets used in environment itself because it helps you see, you know, where you can actually use some of these different assets because there really aren't a lot of Quixel environments showcasing the Quixel Megascans assets. Usually they only release the assets themselves rather than, you know, releasing an environment to showcase them. So yeah, here's another uh, construction street over here. So again, different piles of gravel. We have, you know, like this road right over here with some concrete barriers. And then over here we have sort of like the sidewalk area and you can see that they're laying these bricks. Really neat how they have all the different bricks. They're sort of, you know, arranging it and laying out this brick road, laying each you know piece by piece. Again, a really nice, very detailed. And of course you can check out all the Quixel assets that come included in this pack over here. So very impressive how they managed to use a very limited selection of assets and create a very unique scene. But yeah, those are all of the Quixel asset packs. To actually download and get them, what you'll need to do is you'll need to head over to fab.com. So type in on the website fab.com 
and you want to log in with your Epic Games account. So you want to click on your profile icon and log in with your Epic Games account. Then if you haven't already, you want to claim all the Megascans assets for free. So you want to click learn more and then you want to click on the claim button. I've already made a full video on this, but I just want to remind you guys if you haven't done this already, you want to do that. But then you want to go to your Quixel profile over here. This will pull up the Quixel page or from Quixel. You can also search Quixel up here and get to it that way. But down here, you're going to see all those environments that I showcase. So things like the old mine, the saloon interior, the junkyard, the quarry. But basically to download or add any of these, you want to click on them and you want to add it to your library, you know, and click it to own it. And then if you actually click on download, it's going to give you the zip files. So to actually download this, now that you've added it to your library, uh, there's two different ways that you can, you know, download this as an Unreal Engine project. So once you've added it to your library, you can head over to the Epic Games Launcher and head over to your library tab. In here, we can actually sync refresh fab items down here under your vault. These are where all the different assets that you've bought from the Unreal Engine marketplace previously or that you own will be down in here. But once you refresh the fab items or if you restart the Epic Games Launcher, you should be able to search for those environments. So let's say we search for unfinished building and now you can see that we have that unfinished building environment that we saw from fab over here so if you want to download the old mine we can search for old mine and then you can from here add it to your project of your choice so those are all the free quixel mega scans environments they've added it and released it to fab to you know sort of incentivize people to open up fab and check it out i'm not sure if these asset packs are free for a limited time only so make sure that you claim them you add it to your library and make sure that you actually own them but yeah let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below what do you think about the environments again i'll try to check these things out in vr because these are very high detailed environments and be really neat to see them up close in first person so yeah don't don't forget to leave a like and make sure that you subscribe for more future videos like this one. And that's pretty much it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.